Good morning, Foley High School. Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, I'm Logan Lane. And I'm Tierra Rowell. Before we get started with today's announcements, let's announce the birthdays for today. Today's birthday is Chris, Chris Stout. Stout. So happy, happy birthday to you, Chris. Well, folks, let's turn it on over to our wonderful colleagues with more news from around school. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. What? Why are you, like, so happy? Because I'm celebrating my drive. Oh, we haven't won that yet. Well, how do we win? We have to vote. How? Well, maybe the few leaders can tell us more about this. If you love America, Kelly Clarkson, big trucks, safe driving, listen to this message right here. All right, Foley High School has a chance to win a Kelly Clarkson concert and $100,000. And all you got to do is go to www.celebratemydrive.com and vote October 18th through the 26th. One person per email per day. Do it now. Woo! Next. Freshman and sophomore yearbook pictures will be taken Tuesday. If you would like to purchase your pictures, please make sure you bring the packet and your money that day. Attention all seniors, it's time to order your fall t-shirts. The fall shirt will be long sleeve, bright yellow t-shirt. The design will be on the back of the shirt and the writing will be in navy and white. It will look awesome. The cost is only $15 and it is pre-order sale only. Stop by Ms. Cave's room, room 207, to your, order yours today. The last day to order your shirt is November 1st, so don't miss out. This Friday and Saturday, the 18th and 19th, and next Friday, the 25th, the Fine Arts Programs are putting on a haunted house behind the band field at 6.30. The cost is a $5 donation. Hi, I'm Britton Wallace, and I'm here with Caroline Cakley and Cooper Dossett, two peer helpers here to tell us more about Red Ribbon Week. Next week is National Red Ribbon Week. It promotes not using drugs with high school kids. And also next week we're going to have a theme for each day and Monday is Crazy Sock Day. Like it's, it's, it's sock it to drugs, you know, like punch, punch them. Yeah. Hey guys, remember to bring your canned goods to your skinny block. The winning block gets a pizza party and all canned goods go to the Bay Area Food Bank after the sculpture contest at Fault. Students, if you are interested in working with children in the Alberta Foley area, please go to the guidance website and print the application. The pay is $7.25 per hour. A Veterans Day Assembly will be held at our school on Friday, November 8th. If you would like to audition to sing the National Anthem at the Assembly and have not yet signed up, please see Mr. Reyes in room 901. Auditions are being held after school. Also, do you have a parent or close relative that has served or is presently serving in any branch of the military or National Guard? Please have them join us for the assembly. If you have someone that would like to participate, please see Mr. Reyes. There are a lot of exciting things happening this weekend, and we want to make sure that the weather is perfect for all of them. So let's turn it on over to Jessica Bowman and Diana Shapiro to see what the weather is going to be like. Thanks, Logan and Tierra. Today we have 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy with high near 81. North winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming south in the afternoon. Friday night is a chance of showers, mainly after 1 p.m. Mostly cloudy with high around 64. Chance of precipitation is 50%. I'm Diana Shapiro with today's weather. Now let's go to Jessica Pullman with the weekend view. Thanks, Diana. Looking at your weekend, expect rain, especially on Saturday. We have a 60% chance of rain, mostly cloudy. High in the mid-70s and dropping down to the low 50s. Followed by Sunday, you can see temperatures are in the high 70s, no precipitation. Now, looking at our national map, you can see a front moving east, followed by that higher pressure system, which will be bringing back that lovely weather. For the weekend view, I'm Jessica Pullman. Now back to the news. <laughs> And 
this is my friend Boots. Today, me and Boots are going to learn more about the Hispanic Heritage Month. Would you like to help us? Yes! Okay, that's great. Vamonos! Wait, but I don't know the way. Do you know who may know the way? Map! That's right, Map. First, we're going to have to go through the bushes, up the bridge, then we'll get to Miss Pullman to learn more about the Hispanic Heritage Month. Vámonos, amigos! Do you see the bushes? Right behind you! Oh, muy bien! Do you remember where to go next? The bridge! That's right, the bridge, El Puente. Swiper! Oh no! Swiper's blocking the way! You're gonna need to help me and say swiper no swiping. Let's say it. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Oh man. Muy bien. We did it. Good job. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay, now we have gone through the bushes, up the bridge. Now we can go to Miss Pullman and learn more about the Hispanic Heritage Month. Hola, Miss Pullman. Can you teach me, Boots, and my friends about the Hispanic Heritage Month? See, si, Dora. The National Hispanic Month is from September 15th to October 15th. It's the anniversary of independence for five Latina American countries, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Mexico declared its independence September 15th and Chile on September 18th. We also recognize the contribution made to the important presence of Hispanic Latino Americans are to the United States. You, Boots, and all your friends can go to the Hispanic Heritage Day this Sunday at the Foley Soccer Complex at 9 to 5, and the crowning of Miss Foley Latina will be at 2. Muchas gracias, Miss Pullman. Y recuerden que pueden ir al Hispanic Heritage Month en el Parque de Foley. Va a ser a las 9 de las 5, y va la corona para Miss Latina va a ser a las 2. Hasta luego. Bye. Let's see what's going on with our clubs around campus today. Foley's Follies is coming soon. The Follies will be held on Monday, October 28th at 6 p.m. in the school cafeteria. The Foley Theater Company will present an interesting assortment of singing, dancing, and acting for your enjoyment. Snacks will be provided. Admission is free, but there will be a silent auction, so please bring your checkbooks. Good morning, Foley High School. I'm Maddie Atkins. And I'm Sam Santa Cruz. And we're your sports girls. So Sam, have you heard any news about the football game tonight? Actually, I have. The game tonight is in Dunkin' against Northview High School. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock as always. Well, I mean, that's a really long drive, isn't it? It is, but it's worth the drive. We could use all the support we can get. Go Foley! Logan, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yes, I am, Tierra. So let's turn it on over to the lunch crew to see what's for lunch today. Today for lunch we're having Turkey and cheese wrap, baked chips, raw veggie with fresh fruit. Now for breakfast we're going to have pop tart, string cheese with a fruit or cheese. Today's random shout outs go out to sophomore Mitzi Frost and junior Travis Hayes. And good luck to the Foley football team tonight with their game against Northview. And we certainly know that they're going to bring home a win. And also tonight we have the first night of the haunted hallway of horrors here at Foley High School and it's going to be a spooky time I'm telling you uh, we've gone through it Tierra and I both have we got a little sneak preview and y'all it is scary they've got blood on the walls they've got psycho patients and they even have clowns so I'm telling you if it's only five dollars support the arts here at Foley High School and go and get scared out of your wits <laughs> See what I mean? Get scared, folks. Well, folks, that's all of your Lion Pride news for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more news from around campus. Have, Have a, a frightening, frightening Friday. Friday.